Windjammer Princess Premiere. Here we have Enchantments Aft, and mm, she could use a little touch-up. I will say that, maybe a few weeks in the spa, and she'll be looking spick and span. Over there, if you can see it, if I know what I'm doing and zoom in properly, there's a water park. See that temple over there? Yes, a full-on water park. Someday, we gotta check that out. There's also, wait, where are we? This is Cozumel. There's also a roller coaster like over there, but it it doesn't operate all the time. I've gotta figure that out. Either way, not going ashore today, and that's fine. You know what? Hold on. Okay, I'm sorry. I am no longer <laughs> a professional cruiser. We're in Costa Maya, not Cozumel. Although I will, I'm pretty sure somebody said Cozumel. Doesn't matter. Costa Maya, that's why this doesn't look familiar. It has been 10 years, at least, since I was here, and it was on a Norwegian ship, I'm pretty sure. Oh well, fine, that's fine. Um, I'm still not going ashore. Why would I? And parents, if you're upset that the kids want to stay on the ship, and you want to, them to go ashore and see ruins and stuff, believe me, it, you're better off staying on the ship because they're a lot easier to handle here. A shore excursion with kids? Uh, sounds like an absolute nightmare. Park Cafe, the standard Royal Caribbean Park Cafe menu. Gotta put you away for a little bit while I go take care of some personal physical business. Then the rest of the morning and afternoon here aboard Icon of the Seas where or when hopefully everybody is ashore and I will have the entire ship to myself. I, no, not even I can convince myself of that. But it's, but it's gonna be good. Gym time done. Remember, even though you're on a cruise, no excuses. And up at Vitality Cafe, they actually do a pretty good uh, shake for that reason. They have uh, they have protein, BCAAs, and creatine. Not too bad. This one is blueberry and uh, blueberry and something something. Oh, a banana and whatever. But I'm sure they can mix it up. Either way, about my watch. Yes, I'm bummed I don't have it because I use it to just you know time uh, the the sets and everything like that. But actually, without it, I was very relaxed. I could just you know what have a nice relaxing workout and that's kind of what it's for for a lot of people at least that's what it should be okay i don't know what time it is i really don't which is good i'm getting hungry so i think it's approaching lunchtime so that's we're just gonna go with that it's it's daytime on the world's largest cruise ship what more do you need to know and the display in the elevator does not have the time the day has brightened up nicely it was kind of cloudy a bit dreary this morning as we pulled into where are we where are we? Oh my God. Uh, this is not Puerto Plata, hold on. Right, we're in Costa Maya. Okay, let's go and look down on Enchantment of the Seas. I, that's not what I mean. I, okay, we are literally going to look down on <laughs> Enchantment of the Seas. See what I mean? We are literally looking down on Enchantment of the Seas. All right, no shade, no shade. It's a, well, she is a lovely ship, sailed a while ago, in fact, Enchantment of the Seas, I'm pretty sure, was the beginning of the modern cruise era for me. And that was, wow, 2015 or so? I'll have to go look. Oh boy. I know I don't need to explain this to the worldly and sophisticated longtime members of the court, but the taco shells are there for a reason. That is the section that was added to Enchantment of the Seas some time ago. Yes, they cut her in half put this in and well now she's longer ha 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 but I wouldn't worry about grandeur going anyway anytime soon because the reality of modern cruising is some of these ports that seek out the big big ships you probably don't want to go there anyway yikes remember this from Rotterdam the cruise lines it's like they can't wait to get rid of us and Royal it's missing one crucial detail when do you want us out of our staterooms Sadly, we only have two sea days, so that means Thursday. It is on Smash Burger. $11. Remember, the champion is complimentary. What's your favorite upcharge fast casual dining venue on a cruise ship? Wow, that's a lot to say. I think that deserves a like on this video. If you want to see me try more upcharge fast casual dining venues on cruise ships, go ahead and subscribe because 
we gotta review them all. That would be the Smash Burger at Hudson's on Norwegian Prima. All right, it is noon, which means time to start really thinking about lunch. There is a line for the water slides. That's fine. It's about the same as it was. Actually, no, it's a little bit less than yesterday, which yeah, I guess, sure. So, lunch, then, all right. Do I wait until tomorrow, till people have done the slides, or just start today? Uh, it's between the water slides and relaxing. Ah, I know, the life we live. So much, so much to be thankful for. That is my biggest choice for today. <laughs> Here's the deserted milkshake bar, where they have a lot of fancy, fancy creations. Except, yep, I have to point out, um, included with Princess Premier. And I'm sure everyone remembers, unless you don't, also included in Princess Premier. Your next pro tip for the day, and this is why you have me. The only beverages here that are included in the package, or that are included in the package, are the floats. So, ice cream and uh, a, a soda, whatever. However, while they do have the boozy options, that is not included in the package. So if you did want a special root beer float, you'd have to come here, get the float, go to a bar, which is right there, and get a shot of something. So there you go. That, that, I'm just letting you out, you know, right? So you're not as shocked and surprised as, as I was. I'm here in the Windjammer, and it looks like Royal Caribbean, yes, they're leaning into the alternate venues a lot because this is small, the spread is tiny relative to some of the other ships. This is even less than uh, Celebrity Silhouette. It's a much smaller ship, so keep that in mind. It's fine, I have not eaten here once. Maybe I'll do the buffet burger today. I don't know, let's, um, I'm gonna think, okay, I don't wanna wait too long, because then I'll get stressed. Let's just, you know, go with the flow. All right, oh, except, who is that? There is a, oh, is that, is that Carnival Jubilee? I guess we should do this somewhat scientifically. So, here are our options right now. Hungry right now. The Aqua Dome. We ate there. We've, okay, I've had all of these. I am gonna go back for the pork at, where is this? Uh, boy, Feta Mediterranean. And then, okay, no, 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 no. All right, well, you know what? I guess the wind jammer it is. Hold on, let's, oh, no. Restaurants, base camp opens at two. Ooh, do I wait? Uh, that's a good question. Um, you know what, maybe tomorrow. Yeah, all these are upcharge. Park Cafe, you know, I've been there. Like I said, I'm avoiding all the Royal Caribbean. Oh, well, <laughs> Windjammer. <laughs> and the dining room is not open, so there we, oh, wait a minute, hold on. You know what, they serve food at Trellis, but maybe that's only when Chops is open. Trellis bar. Here we go. Yeah, oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, no, um, only the bar menu. Ah, ding dang. It is decided because we have three more port days and one more sea day to get everything sorted out. So, we're here. The spread is out. I don't think it rotates that much. I was talking to a pinnacle again yesterday who was describing some of the things on the buffet that sounded pretty special and they're all out. So there you go. It's Buffet Burger Day. Let's do it. Not Carnival Jubilee. We are getting a cruise by from Carnival Breeze. From Galveston, I think. Or maybe for Lauderdale. Or Galveston. Or maybe Miami. I don't know. Someone follow up. Let, let everyone know. Not that anyone really cares. Here is what we are working with. Yes, there's a burger patty under there. And I decided to use roti instead of a burger bun. And there's some carrots. I put some, what did I put on the, oh boy. Oh, grilled onions. Got some chili for some reason. Spinach. This mango chutney that Royal makes, they have it on pretty much every ship, is amazing. This is, this is a reason to sail Royal Caribbean. And, um, oh, I forgot. It's like tzatziki, but it's not. Oh gosh, what is it called? I'll, I'll pass by and let you know. All right, let's put it together and get started. And. I decided to keep it simple, you know, uh, just a Merlot for, uh, for for the blood. I guess Carnival Breeze is arriving here in Costa Maya. It's late. Wow. 
Here she is, my Windjammer Buffet Burger. Yeah, totally different direction, you know. Sometimes you, you don't have much to work with, so you gotta si si try something a little bit different. Okay, the roti roti's a little bit um, firm. It's gonna be interesting, but, but you know what? We'll make do. And I did not get any fries or anything. I just realized that. It's totally, totally fine. Wow, life choices affirm. That turned out really, really well. Using the roti, actually, Worked out fine, totally, totally fine. It, it was a bit firmer than the burger bun, but you know what, that's fine. You just have to like hold it right, hold it hold it in the right way so the stuff doesn't like ooze out as you're eating it. I I would not know how to make a joke out of that. So, um, yes, most of the stuff here was from the, the Indian buffet, which they always have. I think I should have gotten more of the chutney, but that's entirely on me. I only get one chance at these things, so. Uh, I do my best. Either way, today's, well, your other pro tip, well, you know what? Oh, that's what I'm going to say. Um, I'm sorry. I'm just so happy it was so good. This was just as good as the burger I paid for at Surfside. So keep that in mind. You can have a great burger here in the Windjammer, complimentary, versus paying the uh, $12. Oh, actually... Okay, $12 ish. It actually worked out to only be like six or seven dollars because you get two items from the menu for the $14. And I'm gonna stop rambling because I'm probably not making a lot of sense, but that's why you love me.